All right. So we are going I am going to grab this band for when we're on the floor here. All right. First of all, let's just do our starter toe touch to see exactly how stiff we really are. Probably will be doing a lot for the upper back today since my neck everything is so tight. Oh. So it was a good test. I always do this at the beginning and then at the end. Kind of like it. All right. Shoulders back, big shoulder rolls. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I like it. Wee. <laughs> okay, so yeah, if you've just joined, grab yourself a towel or a band for when we're on the floor. Okay, goal post, side to side. Oh. Yeah, so the reason I think my neck and everything in my upper back was so tight and bad was because I slipped and compensated so I wouldn't fall. So I gave myself like a mini whiplash. <laughs> All right, so let's go just right to the floor. All right, here we go. Okay. First thing we're going to do is just kind of roll down and decompress our spine. So I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to go underneath my legs and calves and just wrap around that shin or ankle and then balance on my buttocks. And I'm going to roll down and back up. If you can, try not to touch the floor with your feet. This is actually called the seal. You're supposed to <laughs> roll down to your shoulders, back up, and then clap your feet like a seal. <laughs> but you don't really have to do that. Oh, it's just so good for the spine. I'm just loosening that spine up. Focus is going to be on the back and the hamstrings today. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> I don't know why I so, think it's so funny and dorky. Oh, needed momentum to get back up. Okay, good job. All right, so right on to the hands and knees. And before, um, before we do the cat-cow, you can do cat-cow in this position with your palms facing up and tilting that pelvis and then coming up. Okay, so if for some reason you don't want to go on your knees, you could do cat-cow in the seated position. Here we go, cat cow, tilt that, those hip bones towards the ceiling and arch that back into the cat. Then just go the exact opposite direction. Turn those hip bones towards the floor. Back up, back down. Good times. <laughs> Just alternating. Sometimes when you switch back and forth, you're tempted to bend those elbows, but you don't want to do that. Stretch, other direction. Okay, I'm going to stay in this position. I'm going to take my right hand. I'm going to put it behind my back. I'm going to turn my head and shoulder towards the ceiling. Look up. Back down, let's switch sides. Left hand behind your back. Turn that shoulder and head towards the ceiling or the sky or not sure where you are. <laughs> and back down, let's do the other side again. Right hand behind your back. Turn and look towards that ceiling. Turn that shoulder, everything. Look right over, let's switch the other side again. Left side, turn, switch, back to center. Okay, so now I'm going to do wag the dog, which is also good for the lower back, or a tail wag, I guess it's called. So you're going to try and get your rib cage and your hip and push them together. Push that rib cage towards your hip and your hip towards your rib cage. All right, let's switch to the other side. Rib cage towards the hip. 
Switch back to the other side. Other side. Switch. So good for the lower back and the hip. Switch. Okay, I'm going to take my right leg. I'm going to bring that knee forward so that my right knee is almost underneath my right shoulder. I'm going to go down to my forearms, straighten that other leg down, and actually just lie right on top of that leg. Ooh, I'm already getting a cramp in my foot. Makes no sense. So my heel is on my left hip and my knee is close to my right shoulder or the right side of my chest. I'm just going to rest down on that leg. And start bringing attention to my breathing. Nice deep breaths, filling up those lungs and just letting go, sinking into the floor. This is similar to like, say, if you were lying on your back and you were pulling that knee towards your shoulder. Just giving you an alternative in case some people, it really hurts to go on their knees. So you could lie on your back and pull the knee towards your shoulder. Okay, let's switch to the other side, left leg. All the way down. Stretching the back of that hip. Great for the lower back. Sciatica. Just going right into it. This is interesting music. Every time I do my classes, I always think of how I would write music for the class. I think I'm going to start doing that. Just make my own. And I'll just like put vocals in there and I'll just sing all your names. <laughs> Chant your names. This is super tight. So I'm going to take a deep breath in and just relax into the floor as I blow the breath out. just letting gravity do all the work and our body weight right. coming back up onto the hands and knees and we're gonna go right into child pose all the way down Okay, we're going to come up and go over to the left. So putting my hands over to the left, I'm going to go back down so I can stretch the back of my shoulder as I stretch my lower back. Or my lats. Let's go over to the right side and go back down. I'm going to 
come back to center. I'm going to put both my hands together and go over to the left side and come back down so I can stretch that shoulder just a little extra and my thoracic spine. Relax. This is the end of the week. I'm just going to let everything go and have a wonderful weekend. That's my goal. Let's come up, hands together, go out to the other side. Stretch. Back to center, hands and knees. I'm going to put my left leg straight out to my side and go back into child pose if you can, or as far as you can go. If you want, you can just rock to and fro just a little bit. Stretch that inner hamstring. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Don't ever force a stretch, nice and gentle. Don't forget to take it in a nice deep breath and let it go. Back to center. Let's do the other side, straight out. Rock and you can either rock forward and back or just attempt to go down into a child pose position the best you can, of course. If there's no way I can go all the way down to child pose right now, just stretching the inside of that thigh. You can go a little further if you want to use your hands and support yourself so you don't force the stretch. Back to center. Okay, so now we're going to go into a seated position. And we're going to do cat-cow in the seated position now. So... You can either put your hands on the back of your legs, just below your knees, and then straighten those arms out. And then turn those hip bones towards your face. Tilt that pelvis. Or if you want, if this is not good for your neck or it bothers you, you can just stay on your hands and knees and do cat cow that way. Then I'm gonna come all the way up, make my chest really high. And try imagining to turn those hip bones towards the floor. And then back down. It's all about that pelvic tilt. That's like the main focus of this stretch, is turning those hip bones up and then down. The rest just follows. I'm going to attempt to put my hands straight forward with my palms up and do the same stretch. <laughs> Tilting that pelvis forward, up, back down. I'm going to stretch this back if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Just getting straight. I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna keep my hands, palms forward, and I'm gonna roll right down to the floor. Now, this is just a core exercise. You do not have to do it 
this way if you like because if you have neck issues then I just want you to do some flutter kicking or heel tapping otherwise we're going to do the hundred so I'm actually going to come up and balance with my arms straight and then I'm going to pump those arms a hundred times Alternative would be to keep your feet on the floor or do those flutter kicks if it bothers your neck. We're at about 40. Almost there. Shoot. We do whoop. <laughs> this is interesting music. I kind of like it though. I like it because then I can upload right up to YouTube and have no worries about getting blocked because of royalties. Here we go. We're almost there. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Roll back down. Oh, that feels good. Okay, knuckles to the floor, snow angels. Just doing snow angels. Okay, when you get to the top, when your arms are by your ears, that's the letter I. We're going to go to Y and then W. Y, I, Y, W. I'm just alternating from the W to the Y to the I to the Y to the W. Excellent. Lengthening those muscles. Perfect. All right. Now let's stretch the lower part of our body. First of all, I'm going to grab one knee. I'm going to pull it to my chest. And then I'm going to straighten out the other leg. So I got my left knee on my chest and I'm going to straighten out that right leg. So when we were laying on our tummies and we were laying on this knee, we had the other foot over by the other hip. So I'm going to take that foot. I'm going to pull it over to the right. So it's over my right hip. Don't forget to take a nice deep breath and let it go. All right, I'm gonna take, put my foot back. <clears throat> I'm gonna take that same knee and I'm gonna pull it towards the opposite shoulder, the right shoulder. Left knee, right shoulder. Take the same knee, lower it down to hip height, and pull it across my body towards the floor. Keeping my shoulders square. My shoulders are nice and flat on the floor. I'm going to grab my band or towel and I'm going to put it on that foot. Now, if you don't have a band or towel, just grab the back of your leg and stretch your hamstrings that way. So I'm just going to pull that leg up. 
I always keep a slight bend in my knee just because I don't like to hyperextend. I have a, I get Baker cysts often. They say when you uh, have a lot of activity or if you uh, do a lot of fitness or anything, it's very common to get them. But that's why I think I don't hyperextend. Okay, I'm gonna reach out and let that foot drop all the way out to my side, which is that this is the main reason why we have the towel or band to hold that foot. Um, try and keep the rest of your body flat on the floor while this leg's out to the side. Deep breath in, let it go. I like to try one of those um, relaxing breathing exercises. Uh, so you're going to breathe in for the count of three, hold for the count of three, and then breathe out for the count of four. Here we go. Breathe in. Two, three, hold. Two, three, breathe out. Two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, breathe, then hold, sorry, <laughs> two, three, breathe out, two, three, four. Take that same leg, arms out at your side so you can anchor your shoulders down and drop that leg, cross your body towards the floor. Let's do the breathing again. Breathe in, two, three, hold, two, three, breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, hold, two, three, breathe out, two, three, four. All right, that leg that's over your body, bend it 90 degrees at the knee. Put the right hand on that left knee. And then if you can, grab your other foot with your other hand and keep those shoulders on the floor. Oh, the hamstrings. I always get a cramp there. But then I stretch it and I do it again. Then it seems okay. Just imagine my body relaxing and sinking into the floor. back to center. So now I'm going to pull my right leg to, or knee to my chest and I'm going to straighten out that left leg. I'm going to take my hand and put it on my foot or ankle and I'm going to turn that foot so the heel is above my left hip. So the more you pull it to your chest while you do that, you will feel the back of that leg and the hip stretch. Don't forget to breathe. This is so relaxing. Okay, I'm going to move my foot back. I'm going to take that same knee and I'm going to pull it across my body towards that left shoulder. I'm going to 
lower the knee down to my hip and pull it across my body, keeping my shoulders on the floor. It's so relaxing, I could have a nap. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna grab my towel or band. I'm gonna put it on that foot. Or you can just put your hands on the back of your leg, as long as it's not where your knee is. I'm gonna pull that leg up and stretch. <sighs> Super tight. I've been averaging a 10 to 20,000 steps a day. Just trying to, you know, make back some of my vacation money. <laughs> Good stretch. Like. I am going to anchor. This is my right leg, so I'm going to take my left arm and put it straight out so I can anchor my shoulders down as I drop that leg out to the side. Another way to do this is how we were um, on our hands and knees in a child pose. and We had one leg out to the side. It's the same muscle, so you could do it that way too. Be kind of an alternative. If this one's too intense or... All right, let's do some breathing. All right, deep breath in, two, three, hold, two, three, breathe out, two, three, four, again, breathe in, two, three, hold, two, three, breathe out, two, three, four, and keep holding that position. Just making sure. All right, sorry. I always check my texts in case it's one of you girls saying, hey, your music's too loud or your jokes are cheesy. <laughs> My jokes are cheesy, but you know, it's a family show. All right, let's bring that leg up. I'm going to take the band off. I'm going to put both my arms out at my sides and I'm going to drop that leg across my body to the floor. And then I'm going to breathe in two, three, hold, two, three, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, hold, two, three, breathe out, two, three, four, if you're ever in a stressful situation, if you just did that a few times, it would improve your ability to handle the stressful situation and relax you. Go figure. <laughs> All right, this feels pretty good. Pretty tight on that hip. I'm gonna bend my knee to 90 degree angle this is my right knee, so I'm going to put my left hand on that right knee. Pull it down, stretch, keeping my shoulders on the floor. I'm going to attempt to grab that other foot. Hopefully I don't get a, my typical cramp. No, not this time. It's interesting, this is called the pretzel. It seems like every time I do the stretch, I feel it somewhere different. 
So I'm keeping my shoulders down. And again, if uh, you can't grab your foot, that's okay. Just stick with the other part of the stretch where you're pulling that knee across your body. And don't forget to breathe. This class goes way too fast. Okay, back to center. I'm gonna hug both my knees to my chest and rock side to side. And then I'm gonna take my arms and go on the inside of my thighs and grab my ankles or my shin and pull it down. Almost like child pose, but now we're lying on our back. I'm gonna rock side to side again. Whee. I'm gonna put my feet down on the floor, keep my knees bent. I'm actually gonna go into a glute bridge, tilting that pelvis. I'm gonna lift my left arm towards the ceiling and then touch that left arm to the floor beside, on the, across my body to the floor and back. And again, across my body, touch the floor and back. And if you want, you're feeling a good stretch in that shoulder, then hold your hand on the floor and come back. Stretch. Okay, put your butt down, arm down, back into glute bridge, right arm straight up towards the ceiling, and then I'm going to go across my body and touch the floor. Cross, touch. It's an interesting move. It's a good stretch for that thoracic spine, which is our next stretch. Okay, butt down. We're going to lie onto our sides. Quick alligator stretch into a shoulder sweep. Here we go. Knees and hips are parallel. Arms straight out, reaching all the way back. Forward again. All the way back. Forward again. Back. Okay, let's support that neck. Thumb about hovering above the floor, a couple inches, two to three inches. And we're gonna just do a nice rainbow shape. Now, if you can only go to your ear, then just come back to front and just keep repeating that. But if you can turn that wrist and keep that thumb towards the floor all the way behind to make a full rainbow. Good stretch for the shoulder, the front of the shoulder this time. I already stretched the back of our shoulder. I don't know if the microphone picked up that shoulder crack. <laughs> Whee. cracking right now. I'm already feeling bad a bit better though so that's good. All right. Let's switch sides. 
because I do want to get a little bit of a neck stretch in today too. Okay, here we go. Knees, hips parallel, alligator stretch going all the way to the floor. Ah, behind you, <laughs> back forward. It's funny how these stretches, they just seem so simple. But if I don't do them, I can sure tell. Okay, so we'll support the neck. Thumb towards the floor. Let's do that shoulder sweep. Half circle. Do not go across the body. You're going just from one hip to the other, to the back, lower back. Or if your shoulders are super tight, you're probably just going to your ear and then back forward, which is okay. You're still improving your range of motion, so just takes time sometimes. Alright, we're going to go into the seated position. I'm going to, if you can, put your feet together. Scooch forward a bit. So feet together, the bottom of my feet are touching. And you can see how tight my hips are because my knees are way up here. So if you want, you can put your hands on your ankles or shin and just push those legs down with your elbows. I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to reach as far forward as I can go. And then I'm going to go down one vertebrae at a time. Click, click. Nice and slow. I'm going to reach as far over my head as I can. Stretch. And I'm going to come back up and do it again. As far forward as you can go. Stretch. Nice and slow. Take your time. It's not a fast movement. Oh, feels so nice on my spine though. I'm going to reach towards the wall above my head as far as I can go. Reach. Come back up. You might have to swing your arms get some momentum. Stretch forward. As far as you can go, and then come back down one vertebrae at a time. Click, 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 click. Stretch, reach. Come back up. Okay, so I still got my feet together if that's comfortable. If you want, you can cross your legs or feet together, whatever works best for you. Nice tall spine. I'm going to turn my right ear towards my right shoulder. I'm going to put my hand on that ear. 
I'm going to push my ear into that hand. Push. Back down. I'm going to come back to center. And now I'm going to put my left arm behind my back, my right ear towards that shoulder, and my right hand on that ear. And again, I'm going to push. Push. This is my right hand. And my I'm pushing my left ear into my right hand. Push. Stretch. Back to center, that left hand that's behind my back, I'm going to turn it up, I'm going to put it behind my head, or around my ear, whatever works best. I'm going to take my right arm, I'm going to reach it all the way to the back corner of my room, and stretch and look over towards those fingertips. back to center. Now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to take my left ear towards my left shoulder. I'm going to put my hand on that ear and push right into it. All right, push. Wow, that is super tight. That explains a lot. <laughs> back to center. I'm going to put my right arm behind my back and I'm going to repeat this. Left ear, left shoulder, left hand. I'm going to push that ear into my hand. Push, stretch that neck. You know, when I slipped, I was holding a big pizza and, and then something else in my other hand. And I had a full audience of 10 people watching me as I skidded and compensated. And that pizza rolled around on that pan on every edge, almost fell out. And I caught it all and then just kept going. <laughs> but my neck paid the price. <sighs> okay, back to center. That right hand I'm going to put behind my head. I'm going to take my left arm. I'm going to reach it behind me. To that back corner and look at the tip fingertips. How could this class be over? <laughs> what? Silly, isn't it? All right, so let's come back up to standing position. I'm going to do my toe touch. So I'm going to put my chin to chest, nice and slow, all the way down. I already can feel that I feel better about this stretch. I'm going to let my ar ar arms just dangle. And if you want, you can put your hands on your elbows and just let your arms hang. And then you could do like a rainbow shape, half circle, go side to side. And if you come up, you put your hands behind your back and hold your own hand and then come back down and let those gravity pull those two hands down and stretch those shoulders. Then back to center. And you did a good job. Shoulder roll. Good job today, stretching. I've really taken the class down to mellow because I feel like it's like a decompression of stress and muscles at the same time. I kind of like that. Boink. <laughs> 